Oh, hello there. Hello. We are in a really cool property called the Fieldhouse Jones. And it started in Chicago, but now there is one in East Nashville. Um, we found it on Hotel Tonight again, and this might be my favorite room so far. Look at all this space! Um, yeah, this place is awesome. It's definitely a different vibe. I, I liked the vibe at the last hotel a lot. Um, this one is probably more in line with like my personal aesthetic. It's a little more millennial. Yeah, it's like minimalist, modern kind of. Um, but I don't know. I, I all honestly, all the places we've stayed have been incredible. But the bathroom is super cool. I think this one has the best shower. The shower is top notch. Anyway, we just woke up in Nashville and we we're gonna hit the town, go to museums, see some music, do all the things you're supposed to do in Nashville. <laughs> We just got out from the Ryman Auditorium. We did a tour of the entire venue, and we also just bought tickets to see a show tonight because that's what you do when you're in Nashville. I thought it was really cool. It was the original home of the Grand Ole Opry, which then moved to like outside of the city back in the 70s, but now they perform back here again. But it was basically like the original home of country music. Right, the Mother Church. The Mother Church. And it was actually used to be a church. That's true. It started as a church and then performers kept coming and coming and then eventually it just became an entertainment space. Yeah, but it's super cool. We couldn't really show you too much because they don't let you film in a lot of the uh, areas, but um, the actual like concert hall venue is pretty amazing and a lot of it is just original from, from the time. I, I learned a lot. Yeah. I don't know that much about country music, but I really enjoyed the tour. Me too. Hey, B. What do you think of Nashville so far? Love it. Wait, I missed it. Do it again. Please. No. I'll pay for it again. I want to see it again. No. You should be up there in the Ryman. So we just finished our time at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. We spent like four hours there. It was really a lot to take in. We also did a tour of Studio B, which is where Elvis and Dolly Parton and a few other really famous country music stars recorded some of their music. Now we're on this bridge. I don't actually know the name of it, do you? No, it's a pedestrian bridge though, and it goes to the other side of the river. However, we are supposed to be at a restaurant that's like underneath the bridge. Yeah, so we, we thought we could go over it, and then we realized that we are going above the restaurant. So we gotta go back. And the restaurant's actually right behind us. Acme, Feed, and Seat. Sounds like a Looney Tunes restaurant. But they have some live music and they have some good food options, so we're gonna go there, have some dinner, and then we're gonna go see a live show. It's actually really good. Really? Yeah. I don't. 
I feel like we came here not necessarily for the highest quality food, but I really like the vibe. Yeah, the best part of it is the selection of hot sauces There's on the table. so many hot sauces. I love this peach one. It's very spicy. there was an ice cream shop and I just figured I'd uh, patronize them. Especially because their name is Mike's Ice Cream, which is my brother's name. And it was right next to like a more established brand, so I figured I would support the local one. So I got chocolate raspberry truffle and chocolate peanut butter cup. I'm very excited to try them. As you can see, we are back in front of the Ryman Auditorium. Our show is about to begin. Look at these lines. It's a popular place.